Have you ever received your cholesterol test results and found yourself confused by the numbers? You're not alone. Cholesterol levels can be a tricky thing to understand, and it's not always clear what the results mean for your health. But fear not, because in this video, we're going to break it all down for you. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what your cholesterol levels mean and what steps you can take to maintain healthy levels. So, let's get started. In this table, we have outlined the different cholesterol levels and what they mean for your health. First, let's look at the total cholesterol column. Total cholesterol is the sum of your HDL, LDL, and VLDL cholesterol levels. The desirable range for total cholesterol is below 200 mg per deciliter. Let's look at the HDL cholesterol column. HDL cholesterol is often referred to as the good cholesterol because it helps remove LDL cholesterol from your bloodstream. The desirable range for HDL cholesterol is greater than 40 for men and greater than 50 for women. Before we dive into LDL cholesterol column, we'd like to ask for your support. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving this video a thumbs up. By doing so, you'll help us to continue creating informative content and reaching more people with important health information. Thank you for your support. Now let's look at the LDL cholesterol column. LDL cholesterol is often referred to as the bad cholesterol because it can lead to the buildup of plaque in your arteries. The desirable range for LDL cholesterol depends on your risk of heart disease and other factors, but generally it should be below 100 mg per deciliter. Finally, let's look at the triglycerides column. Triglycerides are a type of fat found in your bloodstream. High levels of triglycerides can increase your risk of heart disease. The desirable range for triglycerides is below 150 mg per deciliter. In addition to the individual cholesterol levels, it's also important to consider the ratio of LDL to HDL cholesterol. This ratio is calculated by dividing your LDL cholesterol level by your HDL cholesterol level. A desirable ratio is below 3.5. Understanding your cholesterol levels and what they mean is important for maintaining good health. If you have questions or concerns about your cholesterol levels, Talk to your healthcare provider for guidance on how to manage your cholesterol levels. We are also here to answer all your questions. Just leave us a comment. Thank you for watching, and we wish you good health from all of us in our time channel.